Well, good morning. This is day two of the skid steer. Last night I got the hose out. And let me tell you what, it was a pain in the butt to get out. Um, had to pull skid plates, dig probably five to six years of dirt out of the belly pan. And I was able to track the hose down. There was a, a hose it was rubbing against, which was a, I would say it's a six braid hose against a, uh, uh, two braid hose the two braid hose lost the battle um, It was just a little hose up underneath. It looks like it runs from a uh, pilot system a low-pressure pilot system on the machine um, probably as a signal but Let me show you this hose real quick Oh Well, there you go That little hose right there we're going to take off today and see if we can get that made. Um, we're going to have some difficulties guaranteed just due to the fact of different lengths on the ends. But we're hoping to be able to find it, get it tracked down. And like I said, get it tracked down, get it on this machine. Um, it is a 7 16 hose, which I think... Um, for what it does is I'm going to knock it down to 3 8 and go to a heavier braid hose and add 2 inches to it to reroute it into a different position. So rubbing is no longer a problem. So wish me luck on getting a hose made, getting it installed. And hopefully I can get some more video of actually the beautiful scenery out there. We've had some really odd weather for August-ish time of year. And everything is still really green and beautiful. So, there we go. On my way to go get a hose made. And hopefully they have it. Beautiful out. As you can see, cloudy. 66 degrees outside. Overcast. Humidity. Roughly, I don't know, I think it's like 90 almost 90 percent just really 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 beautiful out today as you can tell slight breeze and not bad but well hopefully we can get this hose made that means i can get a couple cups of coffee in me and get out to where i need to be the hardest part of my day is showing up at the fuel island to feed this girl. Stuff ain't cheap. Now you may not be able to see that hose, but it runs up underneath here, across these lines down there, and up to a little block. Let's see if we can see it. There's a little block up inside there that it runs to. Oh, you can see the fitting. Right about, well, let's see if we can get to it. And I lost it again. But it runs up into there. Let's see. Can't see it. It is time to go get greasy. Well, I'm going to put some gloves on today and get up under here and get this changed out. And hopefully this is the last of the leaks. Never know. <laughs> well, it's starting to look very interesting. Not something I want to see once I climb out from under a piece of equipment. Well, this is John. Um, we got it up and got it fixed. They uh, needed it today instead of yesterday. Or needed it today instead of tomorrow like they originally said. But we got it on. Um, I had a little bit of a problem getting the line back into place. Due to the fact when the line was made, the timing of the line was off. Maybe two degrees and being difficulty of where it was located. 
just made it a pain in the butt. But all I can suggest for all of you guys that want to work on skid steers, buy a lot of crow's feet. That was the only thing that saved me on this job because if I didn't have crow's foots, I would have had to remove the hydraulic pump or remove the AC heater uh, stuff off the side of the machine to get to what I was doing. So on that notion, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe and patient with me. I'm learning how to work these YouTube uh, edits and whatnot. And so there we go. Oh, and by the way, I beat the storm. I uh, beat the storm with a slow turtle. Pretty much that's what my service truck is like is a turtle. It is not fast. It's dependable, but not fast. Um, only got sprinkled on a couple times. Um, I just now got my phone fixed so I could send a video. And it's probably a good thing I got out of there when I did because they were having wall clouds. And having things hang out of the wall clouds that look like fingers. And that's usually tornado activity. And they've already had a couple of them in that location. Not exactly where I was working at, but up the uh, road about 15 miles. So I do not want to be there for any tornadoes because that brings other bad things and I really don't want to end up on my side or uh, have every light and window broke on the service truck due to a hailstorm being pushed by uh, 200 mile an hour winds. So on that notion, I made it home safe. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe. Sorry I didn't film a whole lot, but I was in a pinch trying to get hurry things going and time-wise and location of where the line was at. <laughs> I could barely get my hands in there, let on get a camera to see what I was doing. You just would have saw me laying on the ground, rolling around in oil, and you wouldn't have known what I was doing. <laughs> Thank you guys.